In today's video, we are recreating the uphouse, then learning how to fly it over mountains. But I know what you're thinking. How do I build a flying house in Minecraft? And to be honest, I don't know. But we're going to figure it out in this video. Let's get started. So here's what comes up when I search how to make a house fly in Minecraft. It looks like people are using slime blocks, redstone, and pistons, but let's be honest, that doesn't even look close to a house. I mean, I know they're saying it's a flying machine, but come on now. And this one right here is just showing propellers. I mean, seriously, we all know that that's clickbait. But with a little bit more research, I found this Valorant Skies mod, and yeah, I'm not sure if I'm even saying it right, but you get the drill. Anyways, this add-on just makes it so blocks can move. So essentially, I can attach this whole ship right here and and make it move all right here goes nothing so i just installed the mod in minecraft all right let me just build a little dirt house and then we'll see if this thing will actually fly up oh. add some windows and there we go we got a basic little dirt shack first let me add the balloons there we go and then let me attach the steering wheel oh my gosh wait oh god it's only doing the steering wheel look at this i can't go up or down i can just drive um well this is a little bit broken okay so i did a little bit more searching online and apparently it's not lifting the house up because the house is actually attached to the ground and the whole ground can't be lifted up because it would break the game so essentially what i'm gonna have to do is just raise this house up by one block all right, there we go. The house has been raised by one block, and now I'm hoping that this will work a lot better. Second time is a charm. We're gonna assemble it, and I think it should be working. Nope, it's it's still... You know, maybe if I build the base out of wood, that might work a little bit better. Okay, I pressed assemble, and it just took the wooden floor. Um, apparently it's not attaching to the house. This doesn't even look remotely close to a house, but at least I can, you know, drive a wooden floor around. So I'm assuming once I stop it, I can build up the walls like so. Maybe I'll add some dirt. Hopefully the dirt will work because, you know, the dirt, the dirt adds a big touch. And then here, let me, let me add like a whole string of balloons. There we go. Okay, this house looks very bad. But I promise you at one point the house is going to look very good. And we are moving. I can actually fly the house now. Oh my gosh, it turns. How do I go down though? Descend. V. Okay. So if I press V, it should... Oh, that is cool. Let me make some features. Let's, let's add some... There we go. We got a wing. And then we'll add another wing. All right. We added some wings. So it looks a little bit more realistic. And then we'll add tail, I guess. There we go. Very cool. And let's fly. There we go. Now, all we have left to do is just make the actual up house. But we're just going to get rid of this house for now. So we're just going to put it on the water here. And wait a minute. It actually floats. Okay. I might be able to use that for another video. We're just going to leave the dirt house right there for now. All right. The flooring looks very good so far. Now I just need the rest. Alright, so the layout's coming together pretty good, I would say. I mean, I only got the walls and the flooring down, but so far it, it's looking pretty good. And I'm just going to make sure that this build will actually fly before I get any farther and waste all this time. So if I just place the steering wheel. Alright, so I'm assuming, yep, the house actually works. All right, so this pretty much does it for the outside of the house. All I've left to do is add the balloons and finish off the interior inside. All right, so I'm not really sure what exactly to do on the interior here. So I'm just going to kind of like separate the floors, I guess, because honestly, to be honest, I... I don't really know what the inside of the up house looks like. All right, so for the interior, I decided to add pretty much nothing except for a bunch of random paintings, a toilet, and I also made a seat for myself. Um, yeah. And then if you head out the house here and look up, I added all the balloons. They look a lot better than just wool, I would say, and hopefully the mod will like this iron bar holding up the balloons. I think it doesn't look so bad. So yeah, just pretty much ignore the interior, how it's all blank, but... Now, I think that it's time to actually fly the house. It's time for the magic liftoff. The house from earlier is still down there, so... All right, actually, you know what? We can't we can't just leave our first house down there, so I'm gonna see if it will let me park it on top of the up house. 
and then go from there. Okay, this is very, very slow. All right, there we go. We parked our old dirt house on top of the up house. So there's something I noticed. When I'm moving the house, it is... Yeah, so the house is relatively slow, and I know that there's balloons on top, and we can definitely make it to the top of the mountain right now. But what I was thinking was we find a way to speed up the house, and... You know, we have these ship engines from earlier, so I'm assuming if I place one of those, the house should move a little bit faster, but not exactly sure. I'm guessing it's probably coal or something that's going to go into the ship. So now if I fly it... Okay, I noticed. It, it goes a lot faster, right? So I'm thinking what I'm going to do, and once we reach the top of the mountains up there, I'm going to see how fast this house can actually go. First, let's, let's go to the mountain. All right, so I think I'm going to stop it here and I'm going to add a bunch of engines. So you know what? <gasps> we can use we can use the addict up here because I didn't really use it for anything. And we're going to place a ton of engines. And we're going to see how fast we can make this go. All right, this is going to be a pain putting one coal in each one of these engines. But I'm assuming it's going to be worth it, especially if we can go fast with just one engine. I couldn't even imagine how fast we're going to go with all of these engines. All right, there we go. We got a bunch of engines now. I think that's probably a good number for now. Let me patch you back up. And here we go. Oh my gosh. Just look how... Oh gosh, I'm getting some frame lag. The house actually moves a lot faster, as you can see, which which definitely helps us. But it also causes a lot more lag, and I'm not really expecting that. But all right, honestly, the house kind of looks really cool floating here. I'm going to go enjoy the view, honestly. And as you can see, the house just floats in midair when I stop it. Thank you guys for watching the video. I love you all. Bye-bye.